One of the things is this video is available, like this content is available anytime you would want to go back to it. So if I was playing this in the classroom with you guys, uh, and you were not paying attention for a minute, you got distracted, or you were hungry this morning, and you didn't get to eat, or you're coming to school with some ma major baggage and it's just not your day, uh, you always have this content to go back to. And I think that's a really important uh, point. Uh, the, other, the other thing I wanted to point out is, uh, I during, during the lecture playing, sort of my co-teacher up here delivering the content, I went back and I got my cord, which was nice, and then I also had a chance to get around the audience and do a little, what I consider a formative assessment. I know who was paying attention and who wasn't, which is a fascinating thing. I never want to give up lecturing this way. It's the greatest way to lecture because I can be out there managing behavior. I can be out there doing some formative assessments, see who needs to maybe uh, you know, put, it, put in a, a remedial group or be put on a computer to watch it again, that sort of thing. It just clones me in the classroom, just having something as simple as this going on. And one of the things that I've found, it, it, this crowd is, is a little bit unique, uh, especially with my work with you know, kids, elementary and middle school kids, mostly with this type of stuff, is uh, whenever I'm doing this right now in a, in a classroom, there's usually chatter, right? So there's me like, okay, I know you guys are excited and want to talk. We need to stop and it's time to focus and think. Uh, when I hit play on a video, even if it's it, that's just me, one take video with a little board next to me, it is silent and the kids are completely focused. Which is very weird because it's almost like a classroom management tool. Uh, it's just, it's an interesting phenomenon that I think needs to be considered. 